Hey guys, Dave again, and today, July 24th, 2018, and I'm at the Greater Southwest Historical Museum in Ardmore, and I wanted to show this. This is one of their outdoor exhibits, and it's kind of across the street from it, and uh, it's an old cabin that was on one of the first ranches in Oklahoma before Oklahoma became a state and uh, yesterday I came by and the museum was closed so the lady was uh, lady came out nice enough to let me know that um, it was open today and so it's open Tuesday through Saturday and this cabin here is one that uh, it's one of two that I will show you it's got, um, I gotta find out why they did it like this. They have one on one end, then an over, and then a roof, and then over here. Maybe, maybe they cooked on one end and slept on the other, I don't know. But this came off of the 700 Ranch, and uh, it was back in, I can't read their plaque hardly. I tried to Google the 700 Ranch last night and I couldn't find anything but they dismantled it brought it here it was in Chickasaw Nation Indian Territory and um, anyway showing but now I can look inside so I'm gonna start over this blog hey guys today July 24th 2018 and I'm at the Greater Southwest Museum and I'm not looking at one of their outdoor exhibits it's a really cool log cabin that they tore apart and reconstructed and moved and all that it's a Roth ranch house and uh, came off the 700 ranch and this is one of the first structures that was built in what would later be Ardmore Oklahoma so and it was off the I hope they're going to say it right, Anarachi Creek, which leads into Lake Murray, which if you watch my videos, I've done a lot of Lake Murray. But um, the gentleman that's let me in here, this is Dog Trot, did you say, design? Dog Trot. Dog Trot, trot design to where they cooked on one end, lived on the other, and then they had this, this overhang walk in between. Really good idea. Or if your wife gets mad at you, you're at the other end and... But anyway, it's got some cool artifacts in it, antiques, and I'm not the tallest guy in the world, and these ceilings, it's funny how small people were back then, but, you know, this is before Oklahoma Territory when this was built, so, and this chinking, the gentleman told me that, um, you know, of course, that's to fill in between the logs, but on the older cabins they use mud and grass so uh, I'm fixing to show another cabin that's inside the museum that they dismantled and um, and uh, moved here and it's really cool but this is where they would cook apparently and eat so we got some chow left there I like their uh, antler lights but anyway, then we go across the open area and then it's got a bedroom. They built a really nice overhang on this, or a, <laughs> a, like a shelter for it to preserve it, but they keep it locked up uh, when they're closed. This museum's open Tuesday through uh, Sun, uh, let's see, Tuesday through Saturday, and it's free museum donations accepted and it's awesome it's it's really cool so here again I'm showing you something that's uh, very cheap or free to go see most mannequins are spooky anyway but this is the 700 ranch house Ardmore Oklahoma and next we'll go to over across the street to the museum which is really awesome so I'm gonna let this gentleman get this um, get this all I'll show an outside view real quick. 
so he can lock it back up. But 700 Ranch House, Ardmore, Oklahoma. That's what she looks like. Man, we'll go across the street. Thanks.